We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Run that thing, bro. Are you mad? Oh, oh man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Disclaimer. <laughs> Run that thing back. No, man. Just stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, as I'm saying, Mr. Blitz Tech, Revenue yeah. GS, Joe One Further, the Cyber Nerds, and welcome to the spoiler review for nobody. That's right, spoilers. So if you haven't watched the movie, go watch the movie, come back, come watch the review, you know you want to. Or if you don't care about spoilers, you're welcome, watch the review, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, you're welcome. I just want to retcon what you said. Like, if at this point you ain't watched the movie, don't bother going to watch the movie. Just go over to patreon.com forward slash the cyber nerds. Watch our watch along. Watch it with us. And then come back and watch your review. It makes sense. You'll have more fun that way. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense, yeah. So, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Any drop of any spoilers? Uh, pff, all the Russians die. The black Russian dies. The Van Gogh survives. Woo! It's a bad movie. Um, it's legit. I don't want to start with nobody. Um, what to do? I, I just like how, how they take us from... I think it's, it's the whole everyday life thing of this guy. Right. And then they, they put us in the position when the burglars come to his house. To test, like, usually any movie that's out the person that's trying to be good or trying to leave that house, that, that house, that life behind, that's what triggers, man. And it holds, it holds back. But the fact that they go back and show why he held back mm. and not murking the girl with the gun, just levels to it. And it's just a fun movie to watch. Like, there's peak scenes, like... I mean, ah, uh, what's this guy's name? Oh. I don't know the actor's name, but he does he does a solid job with this character of just being a nobody. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I feel like for me, one of the things that I like about the movie is that obviously, like, there's those normal story tropes that you're talking about, average guy trying to live his life, blah blah. But I like the way they condense the part of his life that is just not important, do you know what I'm saying? The Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday thing, I think that's such a like super legit device to use. And it just kind of speeds up a process of us already understanding who this guy is, his relationships with his family, and just where he's at in life, you get me? So I thought that was super legit. One thing I do, I like a lot about it is that the action, I think these days it's so hard. Like when you've got movies like John Wick, Casino Royale and that, and like even shows like Daredevil, where they've taken this whole realistic gritty aspect of fighting, to a whole new level, I think it's really hard to still innov um, innovate or even like reach that bar. And this movie does it. Like there's so many times where the fighting starts and I wasn't in yet because I was like, oh yeah, standard, we've seen this, we've seen this. But then it just switches gear. Like it almost knows, okay, we've been doing standard combat here. We're going to up it another notch. And I think they mix that in with the music so well. And Ooh. the music that they Ooh. use is always like, some weird offbeat shoot of something that doesn't go with the scene that we're watching, but flows so perfectly with this scene, with this normal guy, well, this abnormal guy trying to live a normal life who's been pulled into this not so normal situation that he is actually relishing in. And that's one of the things as well I like about the character. Most times you get characters like this, they don't want to be, they don't want to go back. They don't want like, they're, they're, they're over, they're done with that life and they're dragged back in. This brother wants this. This brother wakes up every morning like, I wish you man would try me. And I think that is the, one of the best parts about yeah. it. And that's what makes the scene at the beginning where he doesn't hit the chick with a golf club mm. even better. Because you know, in his heart, he wants to take her head clean off. But don't. But that is also the fuel to the fire on the bus, which is like, man is praying that these drunk man jump on it like, it's all mad, isn't it? I think that aspect there of the character is what sets him apart from so many other, let's yeah. say, action heroes, retired, retired agents that 
He yearns for this, bruv. He yearns for it. Let me jump for that, because when you're watching a movie, yeah, obviously the beginning man's just going through the paces of everyday life. Like, even the part where, like, he's now separated from his wife, where they've got, like, a divide in their bed. I was like, bruv, what's, what's come to this? It's called a shun pillow. A shun pillow. <laughs> Where it's like, what's come to this this point in your life here where you're not that guy to your wife anymore? And it, it slowly p- um, peels itself where man was that guy, yeah, where if you even step to man's doorstep, you ain't coming out of that house. You ain't that guy no more, yeah. You're, you're finished. You're wiped off the face of the earth. The thing is that you wouldn't, you wouldn't even step on this door. Yeah, step. because he's that. Because he's the one who comes to you. Yeah. Come to him, he comes to you. <laughs> that's it. And when he comes, comes to, to you, you, that's it. Curtains done. Finito. Finito, exactly. Yeah, like, and I love that. But the whole thing, I like the whole spin on this year because we watched the trailers. First, I thought the whole story is about to be, about to be some about some cat thing. Yeah, man's cat gets kidnapped. I thought, oh, okay, they're gone on animals again. Man's gonna get rescue this cat and then wipe out this whole Russian gang. No, sent us for a loop. What happens is even even begs the question. Did he even know the people that stepped on the bus and was like... No. 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 Okay, cool. No. All right, no. fine. Hey, man was just letting off steam at All that right. point. That's, that's fine. That's, that's, even, that's still good. And that's, yeah, yeah, bro. That, that's good, just what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I'm going to mess you guys up because you came here... Like, you guys are actually bad guys compared to the, the fog that came to my house. They were just trying to get by. Mm. And in fact, they went to their house and he saw their baby on oxygen. I was like, ooh, they ain't like so-called bad people. They're just trying to get by. Mm. But these people that came on the bus... You're just being pricks for no reason. So you know what? I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly that. And then the way that transpires where that goes to the mob boss, he's like, oh no, obviously that guy. And he's like, okay, now we've got to find that guy. You don't see that too often where it's usually they tread on the hero's toes and it's a revenge story backwards. But now it's like, he's the one that's caused the ripple effect on himself. But yet he just solves the problem. Yeah, you know, you know. Speaking, speaking of the the mob boss, yeah. Watching that mob boss when he goes on stage, he comes in like everything's lined up for this guy. Like, firstly, his drivers are more because he missed completely missed his own club. Like, I don't know, but that was pretty cool. Mm. Man comes into his own club, he's got everything lined up. Jacket off, shot, little a little line, get on stage, move to the clients. I love that. But then the fact that he gets. He gets challenged on that, but because you have the world is known like if you're a hard guy, you're a hard guy through and through. Yeah, true. You're not allowed to do these certain things. Mm. So when that gets questioned, <laughs> and, and before he gets them, there's someone gives him a dirty look. Mm. Man had to show them the levels of it. Now, just a little, just a little, just a little comparison on how things are done pretty well. You know that guy, that guy from, uh, from uh, I don't want to call him by his actual uh, comic name because I don't feel like that was his, it was a, a good portrayal of him. But you know that that mob guy from uh, Harley Quinn and the, yeah, them girls who... Black Scott, a uh, Red Scott. No, I'll, I'll say his name. No, we gotta say Black Moss. Yeah, Black Moss. Above. I didn't want to know. I didn't. I didn't want like, bro. If you're here, you're spo- you're into movies, bro, isn't it? If you're me, into movies, yeah. But we haven't actually seen a good in- in- interpretation of Black Moss, so it, it's fine. Yeah, but he, but this was like a to real me, Black Moss. This was like the Black Moss. Do you know okay. what I mean? Yo, he was. He was like, if we're going to look at them, I know this is a bit of comparison, but the reason why I come, no, it's, I wanna, it's I a good comparison, comparison, bro. It's a good comparison because this is well delivered. Yeah, right? flamboyant. Exactly, like charismatic. I'm into my own thing. Regardless what I do, this is what I'm into. This is the life I lead. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I thought this was really like the way he came across. Like, bruv, we've never seen a mob, a Russian mob boss. On, and you're a Russian fam. Mm. Come on, like man, done seen Russians going to the moon, like in in their space stations, drinking vodka and training. Mm. And a, that's the stand level of like Russian tough men, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so for the fact that we're seeing this guy here living his natural life, but still being about that life, mm. sick fam. Yeah, I think that's deep as well. And obviously like just the embodiment of that or even the extension of that is him having uh, a black Russian soldier. Do you know what I'm saying? And mm. then man question it. Yo, why have you got this brother here? And he's like, fam, like, being Russian ain't just a, a thing, like the brother's Russian fam. 
Like, do you know what I'm saying? Fruit, yeah, like, bro. Do you know like, what I mean? The brother's Russian. Whether he's got a Russian passport, born in Russia, whatever, I'm telling you, this brother's Russian, fam. Do you get me? So I just like that energy of from that character. But that is a super legit um, comparison to him. Yeah, man, I, I just think the movie's tough. Um, I love how there's just so many things that happens. Like, this guy, what Sam, well, it's mad because when you was watching the film, you thought that he premeditated, knew those guys were connected. No, I was just like, maybe he thinking. was unsure. Yeah, I was like, all right, he's going to meet him anyway, but imagine like he kind of knew, oh yeah, you're the, the, must, the, the mud boss. Yeah, I don't give it F. See, and it, it, it's not <clears throat> there where he has that moment. Mm. It's like, that is an isolated incident because he wants to let off steam because he didn't get to deal with the, the small time people who robbed his house. Mm. But once he realises they're connected <laughs> and he goes to the to the club after burning the money. Yeah. He's burnt the money and my man doesn't even know. So it's like, usually you would do something, wait for the retaliation. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. He did something, then man came to the house. He burnt the money before repercussion, escalated and said, I'm coming to have dinner here with a Claymore and then wanted them to chase him. That's when he has the, oh, I can have more fun here. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we're yeah, doing more. more. That's more why when he gets in the car, yeah. man's fingers are crossed like, please chase also, me, please chase also, me. Also, for him, RZA character called him up on the following day and be That's like, yo, it. what are you doing, fam? Like, yeah. this is the last people you want to mess with. And he's like, oh, shut up, bro. That's That's it, bro. It. Like, That's your legit. 30 seconds are up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, at the back of that, he's going to do his research. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because if his boy is calling him up, letting him know on some stuff, then... He's about the life. He knows the ins and outs, the intricates on how to to move in safely around those situations, isn't it? But no, man, like, even Rizza and his dad's character, bro, Doc, yo, Doc was moving. Doc's <laughs> probably the hardest character for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the hardest, dad. Yeah. Yeah. The scene with the shotguns in a retirement home, fam. Jeez. It's like, you knew it was coming, but it was still so satisfying, fam. Yeah. Like, I love when movies do Brilliant. that, when it's like, bro, we know he's going to win the scenario, but the execution of it there was fire. And just the, the general joy that he takes um, in, <coughs> in murdering people and just doing his job. And I think, do you know what's mad about that? What I think is him as the dad, I feel like for him, he just got too old. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But you can see that same love and enjoyment in his son. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And I feel like, obviously, this is where he gets it from. Like, why when he went to go to take his dad's badge and gun, He's like, oh, there's just this thing I've got to do. And he's like, we well, better get to it then. Yeah, like, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. like, like usually that scene goes differently. Like, you sure you want to do you, this? Yeah, you sure you want to go down this path? He's like, hey, you better get to it then. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that whole mindset, that whole scenario, I mean, I think it's sick. And I, I, I love movies that like, taking chances and putting those dynamics in movies where it's like, bro, you ain't got to just do what, what society says you got to do. Oh no, he's got to be reluctant. We got to make sure the character's relatable and likable. No, we don't. Let's just make it real. There's people out there who are on job and want to be on job. You get me? And the mundane, it stifles and kills their personality, mm, fam. Mm, be mm, you mm, in it, mm, like. So mm, I love that, fam. I love that, and I love that the movie's called Nobody when the man is definitely somebody, fam. That's what was so legit, yeah. So obviously the Russian boss kind of finds out that obviously his son's got murked, or no, sorry, his brother's got murked. He goes into the hospital, find out who this guy is. I want to find out right now. So he goes and gets someone in the industry who can find out who you are, whatever. She finds out who nobody is. What does she eat does? She knocks out. I'm out. <laughs> She's like, no. The way the edit is on, the, the edit on, 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 those, on the, two, the two scenes, yeah, yeah where yeah, yeah, she yeah. packs up her stuff and where the other veteran in the tattoo parlor Cuts, yeah. Ooh. High level. The bro. High level, bro. The execution of panic, the fear, the I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it is <laughs> there on the next level, bro. They just bust case. Yeah, fam. Them things there is fire, bro. Oh, Thank you for your service. Did it? Yeah, she said, hey, you, got to, you ain't even got to pay me. I'm good. I'm out. Shout you, fam. Like, it was mad, fam. It was mad. Oh, 10,000 locks in that door, bro. He, he's, he looked through the window. And then shut it. I was like, I'm not involved in this. None of this, yeah, fam. Nah, I, I thought the movie was. I thought the movie was fire, man. Mm. Um, one of the things we was talking about because someone on Patreon, shout out to all the Patreons, definitely shout out to the Patreons who voted for this because you bought yourself another lifeline to another Patreon watch along. You get me, but I guess you guys can pick what we're gonna watch. But I love that one of the Patreons said that oh, it's connected to John Wick universe, and I don't feel like we got any hundred oh. percent factual information that it is. But I would love stuff like this year, like this movie, The Accountant, John Wick, 
to all be in the same universe, but also, but when I say that, yeah, studios don't go crazy and be like, well, we've got to put Keanu Reeves in this. No, okay. you don't, mm. bro. At the end, when it cut back into the house, I just thought he was going to live next door to John Wick. Mm. That st- stuff like that is a n- like they don't even have to connect, bro. Mm. Like it doesn't have to be a oh we're putting him in this movie. It's just got to be like these men coexist in the same universe. Like John Wick, you know what I'm saying? See the same way the police officer showed up to the door. Mm. I was like, John, you working tonight? It felt to me the same as when the police officer said to him, oh, "You okay. had the golf club and you didn't take him out." Yeah, bro. Like if that was the same officer, <laughs> yeah, he's like, that was at John Wick's are. door <laughs> that knows who he is and says, "You, you didn't." Bro, that, that kind of connectivity to me is so much deeper than him selling the car to John Wick and that mm. being the like just those small things there, fam. I thought I, I, I thought if there's any connection it would be would be the the money. Mm, the gold. The gold. So obviously and John Wick's they they have the coins, mm. the round coins over here, he's got the bars. But what we was talking about in in the uh the, the reaction we was watching is that to, it can be that can be the link because if you look at uh different countries like people have different monies mm. do you know what i mean some countries they have uh one pound in notes some people have in coins do you know what i mean and i felt like yo if that's going to be it this is perfect here because the exchange will be completely different you don't want to have the same coin if we're living in different places do you know what i mean like so you were saying oh uh, there wasn't a continental. Well, some places don't don't have that kind of stuff. Mm. So you definitely want to have something <clears throat> completely different, but the same. Yeah, like the money. Uh, mm. See, and I agree with that. But I think the issue here is because it's just gold. Right. Mm. That's the issue. Like in in John Wick, he he has gold. Right. Like he has gold, but gold is a universe. Like gold, you can find in any movie ever. So for me, I was like, oh, I would like to just see a coin because mm. if it's the same coin that says. Even if it's in the same place. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not the currency he uses, you can still do everything with the gold, but the coin's just in the back. Mm. So it's like, mm. that is the actual link. The same way if we saw on a piece of paper, it was like a receipt from the Continental or something like that from a time he stayed in New York or whatever. Mm. Th- that kind of stuff is enough as opposed to just, someone could just say, oh no, you man are reaching this a box of gold. I don't want that. I want 30 proof that there is continuity you see, there. But... You see, you see the, the brother that was at the... Um the barbershop that gave more the information yeah mm. that kind of felt like i i don't know if the the director or writer of, of this movie was like oh i like john wick so much let me go and do something with with my own version of it because it just felt like the guy that's at the continental that at the reception mm. was this guy mm. and the both brothers mm. so i was like is this a bit on the nose or is just accidental see i, I for me, I don't know, Sam. You you don't go. I was gonna say, I just like if it's not in the same world as John Wick. I just like the power of those then. Yeah, because, that's good enough as well. Yeah, because this guy said that he's from a company where he was an auditor, but an order to him is that he would finish everybody in that company, mm. make sure there's no men left. Right, and that's pretty legit. And even what I like the most is that he, for for uh, for me, for this movie, it seems like since he's so out of touch, I like the fact that. He still gets like kind of mashed up at the same time. Like yeah. it's not like a John Wick where obviously Mantic is a few scrapes. Only when he's like a high level assassin like himself, that's when John Wick gets kind of mashed up. But him, man was getting mashed up on the bus. Man was getting mashed up when he was coming up against the other Russian dudes. I thought that was pretty legit. So. I think I think that that's what makes it this more grounded than anything because mm. you are supposed to get touched as well, fam. Like. Uh, I'm going to have to disagree with you, man, because, bro, we didn't see him go one-on-one with one person. He was right. with... Oh, exactly. Lovely. Every time he was outnumbered, that's why, for me, I was like, he's getting touched a lot, but he's never in a one-on-one scenario. Like, bro, he's one on six, he's got to get touched. Bears. And he does. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I don't feel like... Like, John Wick will fight... A couple man one on one and get hurt. Yeah, he, but that's boy, because he never thought no one yeah, person. That's, yeah, yeah. But that's what he was saying. Those guys are high level people. Yeah, people. bro. Mm. But nah, these bro. are just like he's fighting six man, bro. I feel like they can't avoid that. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? They can't avoid that. So I, de- I, I still felt he kind of felt invincible, mm. even though he, bro, he was getting he was getting waxed up. But I'm like in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, they're fighting six man though. But you're fighting six man. <laughs> yeah, bro. He beat up five man and then one luckily kicked him through the window. And I was like. Pfft. 
uh, he's fighting six man. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what it was that's just the back. But it, what it doesn't bother me, no, but yeah. I'm just like, uh, yeah. no matter how beat up he gets, yeah. he was fighting six man. Do you know what I'm saying? It's all deserved. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, oh, I, man I that was tough anyway. It just, to me, it just makes things a bit more more grounded. And yeah, man, whole couple of licks in it. Like, come on. Bro. Can't be out of here just not getting licks. But no, nah, man, listen, This the, the fighting scenes were peak. Yeah, I, I love the bit inside the house where he's just had the man up. Bro, the whole, uh, the whole shanking bit where you just see him in the background and all he is... <laughs> Stab a man in the face, bro. This mud. Bro, bare times, bro. On some ninja thing. <laughs> bro. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to watch that scene a couple of times because that thing was a crazy, man. But super legit movie. I wonder if they'll carry on with this. I wonder if uh, it'll 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 pass it'll get passed down to to his kids because his son wasn't shook when the house was being robbed mm. to tackle man. Do you know what I mean? And his daughter seems to like to gravitate to dad. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? Like dad comes downstairs. Yo, she knew where to find him. Yo, dad, I think we should get a cat. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. So it seems like, you know, like, oh, what's that movie with um, uh, Nicolas Cage where, where he's got his door and they become vigilantes or something? Kick-Offs. Yeah, Kick-Offs. Yeah. Two. I did think of that between him and his daughter and, and Kick-Offs as well, innit? So, well, if they'll take it, I'll, I'll, it would be actually pretty cool to see the kids, like, with granddad. <laughs> Showing the kids the ropes. Oh, and the dad, yo. And he's he's got a brother as well, right? His brother's Riz. Is that is that yeah, who Riz he was? Riz, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 cool. I thought you just meant oh like your brother and they never showed nah, him. No, it meant them because they showed the picture earlier in the movie of the No, dad I saw the dad them. with two of them. Yeah, that, that's but, oh, and okay. he calls him dad to Rizza earlier um early in the movie oh, okay, as well. I so. that clock, yeah, them two uh, them two are together. Yeah, man. Um with me sequel the sequel thing. I'm not against the sequel because obviously I enjoyed the movie, but like, I always don't want these things to just do sequels to do sequels. No, do you know what I'm saying? Like, say? I'd love them to maybe do another movie before. Or, no, called something else, definitely in the same universe. Right, right. Do you know what I'm saying? Or so, like, I, I, with something like this, I'd be open to anything as opposed to just the straight sequel, same family. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe the second movie, Riz is the character, we find out why he's actually been on the run. And you do one of the movies that's a parallel to this timeline, mm -hmm. but from his side. So, something like that, man. Because I just feel like where we're at with movies, it's like, oh, sequel, see, like, let's, let's, let's keep do the something same else. Universe yeah, bro, let's, let's, let's do something else. Get mm -hmm. me? But yeah, liked it. Yeah, like, the action's legit, the story's legit. The world building as well, like, I think they did a phenomenal job because... They showed tattoos. Like even he had the seven of cards and the two yeah, of cards. Yeah, he had two cards there. Man saw that man was out. So he's like, what business was he in? Man only said he was an auditor. Like, even the Russians, man said that. What was it called? Ob Oblesk? Or? Ob uh, yeah, something like that. That's it. That, that, that kind that of organization. Room, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's left plan on the table that you're like, I'm fascinated in what they could do here. But at the same time, we still didn't get enough. So I'm like, I like it. But if you can expand on it, Pretty sure you guys can. Action, again, action as well. Action is pretty sick as well. So, legit movie, man. Go watch if you haven't already. Or, go to patreon.com for the cyber nerds. Watch a long thing. It's a madness there still. So, I'm going to say. So, guys, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think of this movie? If you watched it, you're going to watch it. You watch the watch along. We all want to know. I'm saying, Mr. Blitz Tech. Raven your GS. Show one further to cyber nerds. And we'll see you on the next movie reaction. Peace. Bye.